says, this is from the Mail Online. It says, Little Mix posed sultrily in the sunshine in new selfie. A day, a, oh, these all these pop-ups. Uh, a day after ex-bandmate Jesse Nelson revealed she hasn't spoken to them in a year. So I had the direct article, but hopefully I can find it in here. Because I can't see what the fuck, where that, where that has gone. So here we are. So speaking to Glamour magazine, the star who is set to release her debut solo single, Boys on Friday, revealed that there is a distance between herself and the trio, which she confessed is weird, giving their proximity for nearly a decade. She said, I haven't spoken to the girls. It is weird because for so many years, we were as close as sisters, together every hour of the day for weeks, sharing beds, laughing, crying, just 24-7, and uh, the four of us together, and then nothing. Jessie announced her departure from the group one year after filming a BBC doc uh, documentary, Jesse Nelson, Odd One Out, in which she revealed she had attempted to take her own life after years of relentless trolling and abuse. I'm just scanning through the story to see the relevant bits we need. While she has spoken now about her relief at being free of comparisons from the other girls, uh, I think you should have stayed in that group because you have left that. We'll get into it. We'll get into it. <laughs> We'll get into it. Uh, while she has spoken now about her relief at being free of comparisons from the other girls, Lil Mix have continued as a threesome. In August, Leah Ann uh, welcomed twins with a footballer boyfriend. Um, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Perry introduced her baby son, Axel, to the road with her partner. What? How, these people write weird. Introduce her baby son Axel to the road with her part with a partner football footballer Alex Oxlade Chamberlain. When asked if she had seen the touch, she said, No, I've seen a few texts, but that's it. I can't explain it. It's like there has been there has to be this distance. We were so close, so you can't do in between. There has to be space, and hopefully, hopefully, at some point in the future, we can all come back together. I love them, they are my sisters in so many ways, but for the time being, we just don't talk. Now, the reason I've talked about this story is people are coming under my little mixed videos and chatting bare shit to me uh, when I'm being proven right day by day. Um, number one. She is not talking to them, just like I said. I said that, you know, the split doesn't seem acrimonious because she did use that mental health uh, issue, you know, as, um, you know, a reason for her leaving. Uh, if that's the case, why aren't you speaking to them? What did they do to you? What did they really, really do to you? If you love them so much, you were so, so close. Can you guys imagine the other girls in Little Mix, you know, bullying, um, what's her name? Jessie and being mean to her. What have they really done to her? So those people coming under my video saying all sorts of shit, bitch. Every day I wake up, I'm being proven right. We did that story about her black fishing and bitch. I woke up today and I needed a trigger warning for that video. I needed a trigger warning for that video. Mm. Who watched that video? I need a trigger warning for that video. And Nicki Minaj is posting that it's number one in her story in all these countries is because, uh, you know, people were triggered by it and the news spread. And then everybody said, you know, like people who go and watch a car crash, you know, it was so triggering and so shocking. I feel like I've just been robbed. And let's fly a plane on that bitch. There was an attempted robbery by a white girl dipped in fake tan on black culture. And I call access denied, access denied. Fly that plane! Woo! What? That's why it's number one, Nikki. That's why it's number one. Because she robbed the black culture in broad fucking daylight. That's why it's number one, Nikki. Um, I think the post that was removed that was mentioning is the post by, you know, a white media outlet also uh, accusing her of blackfishing. I think let's see if this is it. Oh, here it is. It is this one. Jesse Nelson under fire for new solo single. 
video actually accused of blackfishing. This is by The Mirror. Jesse Nelson has dropped the music video for her first solo single since leaving Little Mix. Look, I don't talk nothing but truth on here. The reason I don't talk nothing but truth is because I physically cannot lie. I physically cannot lie. I can conceal because I don't want you knowing my business. Um, but if I'm opening my mouth, I can't lie. We reported on this before this video came out, like five days before this video came out. And look, and look, bitch, who, who approved that video? Somebody said in the comments that Nicki Minaj is in the same record label with her. Do you think that Nicki Minaj told her that it was going to be okay? Because Nicki Minaj also had beer under her wing, um, you know, when they worked on a whole lot of money remix. She had her under a wing telling her to redo verses and redo this and redo that. Do you think it was the case here where she was like, you know, really, really trying to coach her and then coached her into majorly fishing, black fishing, bitch, black fishing. Jesse Nelson has dropped the music video for her first solo single since leaving Little Mix and it has been talked about for all the wrong reasons. The singer has come under fire on social media following the release of the four minute and 44 second clip on YouTube last night. And the best part of that video or the worst part of that video, I don't know, was P Diddy talking to her like she was a hoe and he was a pimp. You better not make no noise. Don't run no parties when I'm running a party. He looks like, he looked at her like, if you do run parties when it's, you know, uh, you know, I want peace and quiet. I'm going to come over and slap you with my pimp slap, bitch. That was the most interesting part of the video. I was like, the amount of hate in P. Diddy's eyes, acting or not, he was a very, very good fucking actor. Ooh, that's how you talk to women, bitch. Wow. These people ain't really acting, bitch. They're acting, but they ain't really acting. We've, we've heard the stories about P. Diddy. Mm. Um, uh, <laughs> the four minutes, 44 second clip on YouTube last night with fans accusing the 30 year old of black fishing, a term that refers to someone who's pretending to be black or mixed race. This is a white uh, publication, people. Uh, the song titled Boys features American rapper Nick and Nicki Minaj and P. Diddy even makes a cameo in the video, which oozes nostalgia due to the early 2000s aesthetic. However, viewers watching the highly anticipated video, was it highly anticipated? Not sure. Um, however, viewers watching the highly anticipated video were less than impressed to see Jesse sporting a deep tan in the footage. And that is a fact. Let's uh, have a look. Um, a new picture of her. Let me just get the stream up again so I can tell where I'm pointing. Come on. Okay. There's a new picture of her in this video. That's what she looks like now. And then let's get what she used to look like when she first joined Little Mix. Old pictures, Jesse Nelson. I feel like I've been, oh, I've been through an attempted robbery, bitch. Look at this girl. She looks like a girl from my school when I went to school called Gemma Whitehouse. Yikes. Um, they might try and say that about um, Iggy Azalea. But I actually like Iz Iggy Azalea doing rap. I like Iz Iggy Azalea doing rap. Um, I think that Iggy Azalea is respectful to our culture. She's not trying to blackfish. She's not trying to do the most. Um, she still has like her white girl energy there. You know, she's not trying to become black and she's just, she's just doing black music and she's doing black music very, very well. So they'll try and say, oh, what about Iggy Azalea? And Nikki might try and say something like that because of course, Nikki's co-signed this track by doing the feature. 
They might try and say, what about Iggy Azalea? But Iggy Azalea doesn't, doesn't offend me. She doesn't. I've liked Iggy Azalea since pretty much when she came out. She doesn't offend me. She does our music well, and she's not trying to blackfish. She's not. These people go to the sunbed every day. She probably can't even go back to her original color because she goes to the sunbed every day. She goes to the sunbed every day. I'm from the UK. I'll tell you something about these white people. They live in the sunbed. They live in the tanning salon. Especially she's from Essex. Essex girls, they live in a tanning salon, bitch. They live under the sunbed. She probably can't get her original skin color back. She literally tried it in broad daylight. And I call bullshit. I call hell no. I listened to it once just to see. And that's why it's number one. Everybody had a look. Because it was like, what? You try to rob the black culture in, in broad fucking daylight? In broad daylight. And I'm, they're not going to watch it again. I'm not. I'm certainly not going to watch it again because the song isn't even good. The song isn't even good. And of course, Nicki Minaj had to say that in in her rap. Oh, she's the star while the while her man is in the background, ready to shoot, ready to shoot, shoot what? Thou shall not kill, bitch. Do you, are you people deaf? Are you people deaf? Thou shall not kill. Especially how you people are try tried it with me. A fucking um, degree educated, never missed one day of school. Especially as you guys tried it with me. It's over. It's over. Y'all are cancelled in this house. The only time I'll talk about you is for this show. If you release music, I'll listen to it to give my critiques on the uh, for this show. And my critiques, I'm going to be on my Virgo, Virgo, uh, the truth, but nothing but the truth. So help me God. Uh, you know, things from this day forward since you people try and fuck with me. Because before, I was trying to be nice. I was trying to be nice. I'm the girl, if you're a little bit slow in class, I'm the girl there helping you with your homework, helping you, putting all my energy to help you, uh, you know, be as good as me. Let's just keep it 100. I'm that girl. Um, But no more. No more. So uh, I wasn't feeling that video at all. I feel like, you know, I was robbed. I, I feel offended because, you know, all that bad boy shit you're trying to fucking promote. I'm black and I don't even like bad boys. I don't like the bad boys of black culture. You know, the, the gang bangers and shit like that. I don't like that. Any decent black girl doesn't like that because they harm people and they bring harm to people. So you it was triggering. You're using the darker, more disgusting parts of our culture uh, against us. And it was triggering. It was fucking triggering. It's over for you lot in this house. It's over for you lot in this house. Right, let's move on, guys. <clears throat>